My name is Kelsey Edwards. I'm originally from San Antonio, Texas, but I've been living in Utah for the last little while and I just moved to LA like a month ago. I'm an actress and a singer and a content creator on like Instagram, YouTube, live streaming. So pretty much my life is like acting, music, and social media. One of three things at all times. <laughs> I got a call <laughs> from Selena uh, the day before the trip and it was like this really cool opportunity to go and meet new people and see different parts of the country and learn about um, Nongshim and just be part of such a like a really cool experience. I was just, I'm very much like an opportunist and so the opportunity to like travel with people I've never met and do things I've never done before seemed like a really fun thing to do so that's why I'm here. So today we woke up in Lake Havasu City in Arizona and we got some breakfast and then we went to London Bridge. There's a piece of London Bridge that's in Arizona, which is kind of random but cool. So we got to see that and we got to take some photos there and that was fun and a uh, really pretty part of like the area. And then after that we went, around, we went to this tiny little town called Oatman, Arizona. I'd never heard of it before in my life, but it's like this super western town where there's literally donkeys everywhere and they're not like tame, they don't have like a bridle on or anything they're just like roaming the streets <laughs> and they, like, they can like nudge you that you could feed them they could they could attack you I guess if they wanted to thankfully they didn't but it was just like the funnest like experience to be with all these people in like a super raw like organic environment where like it's just you and the donkey and you and the people it was really fun we saw this uh, gas station on route 66 too, the cool springs station I think and that's from the cars the movie cars you can find that there so that was kind of fun. I took some good pictures there and met the man who runs it, and that was fun. So, and then we ended the day in Kingman, Arizona, which my mom lived here for a while when she was like 20. So that's kind of cool. What? Yeah, I didn't even tell you that, you but didn't tell <laughs> I know. I uh, probably did the donkeys. The donkeys were a highlight for me. <laughs> Getting to like pet a donkey and have a donkey come up to you and like love on you was kind of fun. Probably the funniest moment of today was I was trying to take like a photo or a video of one of the Western stores and I didn't realize it, but a donkey was coming up to me. So my eye was pushed up against my camera so I couldn't see anything and all of a sudden this donkey like nudged me really hard and I <laughs> screamed really loud. And then this woman across the at the store just like laughed so hard at me and she was like, sorry, that was really funny. That was funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was funny. I knew it was funny, you were right. And then she told somebody else, she's like, the donkey just nudged her and she screamed like a little girl. <laughs> I learned that there's a lot more to those states than I thought. I always think of California as just kind of like, you know, California, like the typical California you think of with palm trees and a beach, but like there's this other side of California that we saw on this trip that was really cool, more like deserty, mountainous, you know, stuff like that. Just the biggest lesson with like, whenever you get people together, whenever you see new cultures, new countries, not, yeah, I mean, obviously this is a new country, but I've been to other countries, new states, whatever, is like just an appreciation, I think, and a, an overall understanding of like your place in this world or your place in this country. And and it's fun to be with like people who are all, we all have different like heritages, we all have different like cultures, we all have different like ways that we were raised and brought up. And it's kind of fun to like bring everybody together in this setting where we're like in a car together and we're learning about each other through this road trip. And it's been, it's been really cool and really eye-opening. And so really thankful to Nongshim for making that possible for not only opening my eyes to the brand, but like opening my eyes to this opportunity to be able to, to learn from and connect with so many unique people. I'm a vegetarian. Um, I'm trying to avoid dairy. I'm not perfect at it, but I'm trying to avoid dairy and trying to be vegan. So it was cool because um, most ramen brands are not vegetarian friendly. Growing up, I couldn't really eat ramen because it was always like a chicken broth or a beef broth or something. And that was always sad because I'd watch my brothers eat it or my friends, and they always like crush it up and then the little powder on it and they'd eat it raw sometimes too but I can never eat it because I'm a vegetarian. So that was really cool about Nongshim is they have two vegan flavors. They have the kimchi flavor and a veggie flavor and I was like oh my gosh like that's so cool. I love that. That's like one of the neatest things and so um, for the first time in decades like a little not decades but a decade a little over a decade I can actually eat ramen which is really cool and it's been fun. It's kind of a fun experience to have like the cup noodle experience again. I think my favorite snack is probably those banana Cheetos which is like they're just so good. I don't know. I've never had anything like that before. Like we've always had like Laffy Taffy's and Runts that are banana flavored, like kind of, but like I've never had like a Cheeto that tastes like that. And so 
My mom loves like that kind of banana flavor, so I know like she's gonna love that. I'll have to bring a couple bags home for her because she loves that flavor, and I I like her. I really like that. I've never had anything like that before. Anyang haseo. Anyang haseo, nangshim.